Hi there everybody, Jason here, and so this is a little bit of an odd thing. I was uh, in my car and I was fiddling around with things and I've been, I've been toying around with the idea of just sort of fixing certain things uh, here and there, and one of them was uh, my dome light. Uh, it basically, I, I couldn't decide whether either I'd blown a fuse in my car, uh, something to do with the switch was bad, or if the actual bulb was bad. So I took it out, and the reason why I have it inside my house is because I'm trying to figure out a way to actually fix the actual housing, because even though I did everything the right way for getting this out, I still broke the little thing that went around it uh, as far as uh, uh, lodging it into the actual ceiling. Uh, so what I have here is the actual uh, dome light. Uh, I have sort of taken it off of the mount and unplugged everything so that's why it's in my house and I just wanted to take it apart and see if I could take a look at it so uh, from my understanding the only thing that I really need to do to take this apart is sort of like got these little clips here I can pull that off and you see here the actual uh, switch housing uh, but you can see that there's a little bit of discoloration there so maybe maybe I can clean that up a tiny bit then here's the actual bulb, which, let's see if I can get this out. If you look at the bulb, let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on, buddy. If you look at the bulb, everything seems basically fine. Like, the actual filament is still in one piece. Um, I've ordered a new bulb regardless, and I've ordered some new fuses, um, but who knows, maybe maybe the switch was having a bit of an issue. Like, the metal pieces in here don't necessarily look corroded. Uh, everything looks basically fine. I've got like a little bit of sandpaper here to sort of clean up the contacts, if I possibly can, but uh, I'm gonna take the rest of the way apart. Uh, so what I can do is I can actually <laughs> so incredibly fiddly. So put that together and then I can sort of pull out that. And there's this little copper plate that probably works as a stop as well as a maybe a conductor. So let's just clean that off real quick. Get all nice and shiny. This side doesn't necessarily matter but why not? <laughs> that bit just basically keeps it in its, uh, in its position. There's that. And then I can even take this bit out too. So I can hopefully get a better look at it, maybe? Well, there it goes. <laughs> uh, so here you go. I don't know if you can see inside there. Come on. There's a little bit of yellow discoloration. And I don't know if that's just because of the metal or if that has anything to do with the foam that was up inside there. Sort of just, I don't know, melting in the heat. <laughs> I do live in Phoenix, so it is pretty hot up here or here in general, so maybe that has something to do with it. So let's see if I can get rid of some of that. At least if I can sort of clean up the contact area where the copper bit hits, I think that's the main thing that I'm going for. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to clean this up a little bit and uh, put it back together and that's going to be basically it. Anyways, this is basically just a little disassembly, reassembly, uh, cleaning, um, all that sort of stuff for uh, the Ford Focus. This is a 2000 model, and if you're curious about like the part number or anything like that, see if I can get that to focus. Uh, when I was actually looking at the light, uh, basically what I found is that this is number K25673, which is basically represented by things like, like this. There you go. That's what I have got. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go clean this up, like I said, and then I will, on camera, quickly get this put back together. And yeah, I'll be right back. 
All right, I got it as cleaned up as I possibly can. A lot of this stuff that's basically on any of these metal connectors is gone. There's a little bit of yellow, like still behind and below, but I think in order to actually take care of that, I'd have to actually be able to remove this. And I don't really want to remove any of these like little tiny pieces of metal because I don't want to bend them out of shape. But anyway, let's get this all put back together. All back together, ready to go. Now, <laughs> if you saw me fiddling around with this little blue piece while I was uh, speeding up that uh, little bit of footage, it's just because I was having some problem with uh, the spring actually staying on the little catches that it has. So basically, I force a little piece of uh, plastic in there to just keep it keep the uh, keep it spread out so that it would actually hold the spring in place. But there you have it, all back and put together. Everything's as cleaned up as I can make it. Um, so if for whatever reason this works now. Uh, hopefully it's because I clean it up, but if not, I'm still going to replace the, bla the bulb and I'm still going to replace the uh, fuses. But yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye for now. Uh, so as an addendum to uh, this thing here, uh, it appears that it's actually a bad wire. Um, excuse the ice cream truck too, uh, because basically like even with everything all connected and all that sort of stuff, um, it's not lighting up. Uh, when I actually put it in, it, it did actually show light, so the light bulb is actually still good. Um, I managed to glue this back into place, thankfully. Uh, you can probably see like a little bit of uh, fluff right here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I guess it's just a bad wire. Anyway, that's it. Bye.